Welcome in a new episode of the Rust uh, tutorial series. Uh, today we'll start a bigger project that will take uh, some lessons to complete. This is the first part. And the idea is to create a CLI project. In this case, we will imitate the grep function, something that you can do on a Linux uh, terminal. And we want to build this from scratch. So I also want to create a new project. So we start absolutely from zero. To start a new Rust project, you can type cargo new and we will call this mini grep instead of grep, which is the command line we are trying to imitate. We step into the directory and then we can open this with any IDE we want. In my case, I will use BS Code. I have also the extension Rust Analyzer and even better Toml. What is this grep command? Grep allows us to find something inside files and inside paths. For example, here I can try to use it because I already have this uh, in this git bash terminal. I can type grep dash r which stands for recursive. So it's going to look also inside the, the, the directories. For example, I can look for Java inside the src folder. And of course, this returns uh, nothing because you can see here we have just uh, these three lines. If I try to type, I, I wrote J Jave, <laughs> it's, the, it's the same also for Java. If I try to look for hello, Surprisingly, it's not find anything. And the reason is that this grep function is case sensitive. To actually find this hello, I should type here hello with capital H in the SRC folder. And in this case, you can see that it's finding this line. So this is a command used to look inside files and folders. Okay, so we are trying to recreate this, but we will use Rust. So we need some, some steps here. In this lesson, we'll focus on how to get inputs, because we want to create a command line interface with some parameters, as we did here. Hello, SRC. So we are, cre we are building this project. The first step is to import the env module, because we want to work with arguments. Import the env module. And it's very easy. We can use this use keyword. STD stands for standard library, and env is the env module. We have a warning here because we are not using this env module yet. Please give us one, one minute. If we try to type cargo run space dash dash space test in a file that doesn't exist yet, sample.txt, we get the warning, we get the hello world, but we get nothing about all the logic of this common line interface. We still need to build it. The first step will be to read the arguments from the program. And we can do this uh, by storing these arguments in a vector of uh, strings. If you want to watch a video about vectors, uh, there is a previous one. And we use this uh, method, env, args, and collect. And then we can print the arguments. And in this case, I want to use uh, not print, but this dbg, which is a specific uh, for the arguments. Let's try it out. Cargo run, for example, search string in a file that doesn't exist yet. Example file.txt. Let's read the output here. We have three arguments printed out, which might be a bit surprising because we have example files.txt, search string, but you can see that the argument at the index zero is the name of the project itself. In the specific is also the path of where this project is running from. So we need to keep this in mind. Now we need to save the arguments somewhere and then print it, of course. Save the arguments in uh, variables. We can put the argument one here and the argument two here. I prefer to use the printl n here. Printl n like this in one single statement. Cargo run dash dash test, which is the string that we will look for, and then the file, which still doesn't exist. We will do this in the next lesson. Here we are printing the arguments, and here we are printing the variables that we used to store these arguments. You can see here we are passing the reference and not the args itself. If we try to remove on line 9 this ampersand, Rust will become upset because you can see 
in this case uh, we moved the hugs if you don't know about ownership and borrowing there is a lesson specific about this so this is the reason of this uh, ampersand here let's remove it and this was a very simple lesson we are getting the inputs now in the next lesson we will read from a file so things will get uh, more interesting but here i wanted to focus on getting the inputs store the arguments in variables and then just print them out we will start from here in the next lesson okay see you in the next video bye bye